Okay, good day everyone. In this quick lesson, what I'm going to show you how to do is to add some music into Adobe Premiere Pro. So, um, first of all, my workspace is set to editing up here, so um, it might be a good idea for you to do that as well. Uh, I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Import. Um, as you can see, I've already got a sequence that I'm working on, and I've got um, some music here that I'm going to bring in. And now, you can see it's an audio file because it's got this icon on it. Uh, if I double click it, I can actually preview it in the preview monitor here. So if you double click it and press play, you can preview the music and you can look at the sound waves and the smaller the sound waves, obvious, uh, the smaller the sound waves, the lower the sound. And as the sound waves get higher, the, the more uh, the louder the sound. Um, so what you can do is in the preview monitor, you can pick a section that you want it. Um, to play. So my sequence here only goes for about, I don't know, 28 seconds or so. Um, so uh, I might just, um, I'm not going to choose anything special. I haven't really listened to this before, but I'm just going to show you the technique. Whoops, I'll undo that. So over here, if I go into my preview, say I want this, uh, maybe this just this section of music here, I might press I um, on the keyboard, which is my in point, or you can press this uh, button here to mark an in point and scrub the playhead over and if you want the out point to be there you can press that button there and what that's going to do is that's just going to take a section of that music then to drag it into my timeline I'm going to grab this uh, hover over this icon here which says drag audio only oh, the audio only click hold and drag and then bring it in down here. Okay, so you can see now that I've got music running behind my stop motion animation, my sequence that I've created. Now you'll notice it's a little bit long, um, so what you can do is you can, if just with the move tool selected, if you wanted to just drag that, click hold and drag that across and it'll snap to the end there. Um, you can do that. Now, the other thing you can do is, say you want the music to fade in and fade out at the end of the sequence, um, what you can do is, if you find your effects tab in this uh, panel here, uh, if you can't see it, there's two little uh, arrows that you can click, choose effects, and let's go into audio transitions, now, um, now into cross the crossfade folder, and look, they all basically do the same thing. So what you can do is you can just, I'm just going to use constant power, just click hold and drag it onto the end of the film clip, uh, the beginning, and click hold and drag another one onto the end of the film clip. You can only put these on the beginning or end of a film clip or between two film clips because they're transitions. Okay, so um, what that will do is, you can probably hear it better at the end, as the music, as the film clip comes to an end or the sequence, if it, the music will fade out, so let's have a listen to that. And it slowly gets softer, and then at the start, it slowly gets um, louder. So, look, I could, if you click on the actual effect itself, not the um, audio layer, you can then hover over till your mouse changes the icon, and you can drag it out, and you can so you can make that effect last longer, or you could drag it in if you wanted to make it shorter. So something like that, whatever suits your project. Um, that's about it. Thanks, guys. See ya.